Hello, and today I've got another achievement guide for you in Call of Duty Advanced Wofo. And I will be looking at climbing the corporate ladder achievement. And for this, you need to survive until round 25 in infection. So to start off, I'm going to be talking about my favorite weapons to have for this achievement. First off, I like to have the CEL3 Cauterizer. This gun is an absolute beast and will finish off most zombies in one hit, providing it is upgraded. For my secondary weapon, I usually like to go with something explosive, whether it be the Mayhem Rocket Launcher or the Crossbow or whatever. Of the two, I'd prefer the Crossbow because it's lighter and you can run a little faster with it. Another great tool to have for this achievement is the Distraction Drone. This will emit a lot of light and a lot of noise and distract the zombies and take their attention away from you. They can be purchased from the 3D printer and look like this. A little tip for when you're playing, if you see a full reload power-up, make sure you fire off all your distraction drones because then it will refill and hopefully we'll be able to get rid of some of the zombies before you pick up the full reload. As for other grenades, I like to have the contact grenades which can be bought next to the EXO reload power-up. I prefer these to the ones with the timer because they explode as soon as they touch something. This can be very handy when in a tricky situation and is like having a quick access rocket launcher on your right bumper. Another quick note, if you notice the ambulance next to the power station, you will be able to use this to distract the zombies by setting off the sirens. So say you've run out of distraction drones, this is an awesome little technique to use to thin the crowd a little bit. To ensure that you stay one step ahead of the zombies at every round, make sure to leave one alive at the end if they're crawling, better, if not, doesn't matter, and upgrade your weapons and restock your ammo. Did I say ammo? I meant grenades. This is also a good opportunity to collect any extra credits you can by running around and picking them out of these little machiny things. You can also collect any of the orbital drops that are still lying around. Personally, I wouldn't bother picking up the turrets, I would just go for the drones and the camouflage. And the credits, of course. Bitch, love that money, yo. Something that is extremely important in those later rounds is to make sure that you grab yourself your insurance policy, which is Exomedic. This means if you get downed, you will be able to get revived with no other players there. Also, grab yourself Exo Health, which is located next to Burger Town, and Exo Reload, which is next to the contact grenades in the sewers. So to recap, leave one zombie alive at the end of each round, make sure you fully upgrade your weapons as far as they will go, and make sure to restock your grenades. Now as far as technique goes in this game, the best thing to do is just keep moving. You can see here that I'm running around Burger Town, this is my personal favourite place to be, because there is very little to get caught up on, unless of course you get caught on that car, and uh, it's quite open and you can run really big circles, which means the zombies are always quite far behind you. And by quite far, I mean they are almost licking your anus. Pick up any power-ups that you see on the second lap around because if you stop, you will get caught in that crowd and they will have you for breakfast. Now, if you're taking out any zombies behind you, make sure to turn around every now and then because they will spawn in front of you and hit you in the back and fuck up your day. Once again, if you shoot a zombie and you see a full reload, make sure to empty all of your grenades on the remaining zombies to thin out the numbers as much as possible before picking up that power-up. You do not want to waste grenades, as they are extremely important to removing those zombies' legs. Now, unlike the old map from the previous DLC, there will be parts of the map that get blocked off by hazard zones where you will get infected if you stand there, which does make this a little harder. So what you will have to do is you will have to apply the same techniques that I've shown you here to other parts of the map, such as the high voltage power station or the Atlas Command. One last thing to remember is you do not have to survive past round 25, you just have to survive until it. So you can see here, I'm taking out the last zombie on round 24, I'm going to grab myself that extra reload and show you my shiny, shiny, shiny level 20 gun. And the round is about to begin, and the achievement should pop. So there you go, I hope this guide has helped. Best of luck getting this achievement, guys. I will catch you later. Bye!